Are you one of the many people who have a problem with joint mobility or joint discomfort? Most people, including doctors, do not believe that diet and the right supplements have such a profound effect on our joints, skin and connective tissue despite the accumulating research. There is a huge gap between the tremendous complexity of the human organism and the rudimentary data on which doctors now base diagnostic and therapeutic decisions. Why not be proactive about your own general health? Why not learn how to prevent or reverse your problems without waiting for symptoms to show up? Well, joint mobility and joint discomfort are very common problems. One national study reported that about one-third of adults have a problem with one or more joints. Knee pain was the most common complaint, followed by shoulder and hip pain, but joint pain can affect any part of your body, from your ankles and feet to your shoulders and hands. As you get older, painful joints become increasingly more common. To understand why it happens, we need to know how the joints work. Joints are movable connections between two bones. The joint surfaces of the bones are covered with a layer of cartilage. The articular surfaces are separated by a very thin space called the synovial cavity. Cells of the inner joint capsule layer produce synovial fluid. This thick fluid nourishes the cartilage, makes sure that the surfaces of the joint glide smoothly over one another and acts as a shock absorber by spreading out the pressure put on the joint. Human articular cartilage is built from collagen type 2, from 10 to 20 percent, hyaluronic acid, chondroitin sulfate, and keratin sulfate, from 10 to 20 percent, chondrocytes, from 1 to 5 percent, and water, from 75 to 80 percent. The reason why joints start to hurt is that the joints, connective tissue, and the rest of the body are effectively drying out with age. From the time we stop growing, we start to lose collagen and hyaluronic acid about 1.5% a year. The level of synovial fluid, which is built mainly from hyaluronic acid, is slowly being reduced. This causes cartilage to become brittle and then to thin and lose elasticity. The result is the common bone-to-bone -bone sensation. Moreover, articular cartilage the specific cartilage found in joints does not have a blood supply. Rather, it gets its oxygen and nutrients from the surrounding joint synovia fluid. When the joint fluid dries out, there is a very limited supply of nutrients to our joints. Why can't collagen and hyaluronic acid be replenished from food? One of the reasons is that today's processed foods often lack the natural nutrients the body requires for efficient functioning. And that's why supplements are required for optimal health. The second reason is that the body requires the correct proportions and form of collagen type 2, hyaluronic acid and chondroitin sulfate so that they can be absorbed and integrated into the body's chemical functioning. If the body does not absorb and integrate a supplement, it simply passes through the digestive system and is eliminated. The third problem is that naturally occurring molecules of the collagen and hyaluronic acid are too large for the body to absorb. They usually simply are eliminated in the digestive process. And it's very important to remember that it's not what we take, but what our body can absorb that counts. Finally, a new collagen source for rebuilding our joints, bones, skin and connective tissue has been discovered. Its efficiency has been proven in randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical studies. The results were so unique that it has been awarded seven US in international patents. There are no other products, in the pharmaceutical ones, that can show similar results. It is manufactured in the USA in an NSF, NSF Sport, CLP, GMP and OTP certified facility. It is a total breakthrough. It is clinically proven to improve joint mobility, reduce discomfort, and promote healthy cartilage and connective tissue. And as a side effect, 
hydrates your skin, repairs tissue, and reduces wrinkles and deep lines from inside out without injections, surgeries, or creams. It also disables hyaluronidase, that substance that destroys hyaluronic acid in our body. It will help all joints and other connective tissues, including eyes, gums, skin, nails, and hair. So let me now summarize what we were talking about. First of all, the best way to avoid joint discomfort is to prevent it. You can do it with proper nutrition, supplementation, and moderate exercise. When we lose hyaluronic acid, we lose synovial fluid in our joints and our cartridge starts to deteriorate. And to prevent this, we should start using supplements even before we start to feel discomfort. Once the joints start to hurt, people often try to control the pain through medication and or injections. This actually may lead to greater deterioration. Fixing one joint by using stem cells, platelet-rich plasma, or a cartilage transplant technique can help, but it will not solve the problem. We need to provide the right nutrients to our body so that other joints and connective tissues remain healthy. Joint replacement is an invasive treatment and it is not always successful. It should be considered as a last resort when everything else fails. Even after surgery, we should replenish missing nutritional ingredients through proper supplementation to make sure that other parts of the body and connective tissue will not deteriorate. Choosing the correct supplementation is essential, since it is not what we take, but what our body absorbs, which is important. It's also better to take them in a liquid form. It is also important that they are absorbed directly starting from underneath the tongue and the mucosa of the mouth into the bloodstream. It is important that they do not go through our digestive system since our stomach acid destroys both collagen and hyaluronic acid. For a free health coaching assessment and recommendations on what would work best for your unique body type, please send us an email or preferably schedule a time to talk with us at meetme.so forward slash collagen.